Oh, okay. Sort of what I expected. We've switched delirium and something has changed our frequency, as it were. We're on a different plane. Whoa. Warped Watcher. Die already! Oh, it's a revenant. Oh, guys, stop holding position! Here I come. Whoop. Hey, buddy. Hi, you pulling me up? God damn it! <laughs> If I could just have a moment, please. Uh, they both resisted, but got their mind off me a little bit. Die. Oh, good job, bud. There you go, you cannot stand the force of my heavies. Oofed. Genuinely, is there a way to turn that off? Uh, sorry. One moment. Nope, we're just gonna have to grind and bear it, really. We're still in combat, though. So something's around there, from the looks of it. It's miles off the map, though. Where is it? It's, it's leagues away. Tell me I'm gonna be in combat this whole time? There's a tattered note over here, though. We'll deal with this low-edge combat music in the meantime. I'll get on it. Oh, don't give me that shit. All right, hang on. Let's move away and hopefully we can exit combat. Hmm. Whoa, he was losing health this whole time. Nobody else appears to be losing health. Is he gonna keep losing health? What happened to you? Why did you die? What the fuck, whatever. Let's just get to the, to the battle arena as quickly as we can, unless we can go up here and go into this door now. Hmm. <laughs> okay, God. Got Shit. Oh. Shit. <laughs> oh, hell. That's a mage. Um, I need something big. Do you know what, fuck it? I just need everybody to lay into this guy as quickly as possible and bring him down. You. Unbelievable. Uh, what's this do? Cripple? Just dual sweep. I'm gonna start looking after you. Nathan can take care of himself. Well, I say that, he's actually really low health. What's happening? Kill him. Oh, you're happening to me. Die, bitch. Take that. They're right over there. They're broadly all right. Uh, the golem's in trouble. I'm not too concerned about him. He can, he can have a poultice. Oh no, he can't have poultices, can he? Uh, okay. Just how are they doing? They're doing all right, but not fantastic. A burst shot might be in order. Come on. There you go. That's really annoying. <laughs> That's really annoying. He never did that before. 
<laughs> uh, oh, there's another one. Awesome. Maybe it can increase my willpower and stop making me so violent. So this is interesting, right? Now that I've opened this, um, now that I've opened this door in this world, it looks like there's another chest which exists only in the material plane. Or at least that's sort of what I expect. Actually, if anything, it looks like it might even be deeper into this ethereal plane. So I don't know if there's a third layer. We're definitely seeing other colors other than blue. We're seeing like greens as well. So one wonders if there's another switch, another layer. Uh, or if we can go back at all. Luckily, we have entered combat, therefore making us able to go get that tattered note, which is up here, I believe. Don't, don't enter into combat again, please. Here we go. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Ancient ratings. Um, I have ordered more iron from the Miner's Guild. The Shaft Rats will deny us a quest, citing our waste of good iron. But I've prepared for this eventuality. I've come up with an alternative, the Castless. No one will miss them. Hmm. And it's far better for them to die on the surface of this great experiment than to continue living the worst, worthless lives. Narita seems reluctant, but she is from the surface and doesn't understand. No matter. She wants the research to continue as much as I do and will eventually come around. Hmm. The castless for what though? Because you talked about iron, guys. <laughs> you talked about iron? So what, are you just using miners? Or are you using the castless? Well, there's an ancient sign over here too. Are you using the castless to fuel a golem? Because we all know what's in a golem. What power is it? Okay, this puts us back in the normal world. Oh, wrong way. So let's test my theory just there. Looks like I was right. I see enemy. Oh, balls! Didn't even notice them. <laughs> ahead. Oh, hell. Come on, come on. Get up, you dick. <laughs> Okay, focus fire, guys. Come on. One at a time. But well, honestly, we're going to the Nathan. That's actually okay. That one's going the long way around to do something, or other. Probably a get to me. Okay, next. Straight up. Attack focus. There we go. And that one just can't make up what to do, make up his mind as to what to do with himself. Wow. <laughs> Never prepare for alternate threats in different areas. Golem's research notes, healing. Notes from the research of Amgarak. Quest updated. Uh, modify your golem is now capable of releasing a pulse of energy that heals minor wounds. Really? Oh, cool. Oh, that's so helpful. <laughs> awesome. I have all those books again. I might as well use them. Uh, how is my health? My health is generally okay. Maybe I'll just pump the points into attack. I don't know. Brush the microphone there. I don't know if that'll come out on the audio. Right. Okay, good. I don't appear to have lost anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the idea of somebody leveling up and being so elated they just, like, throw all their clothes off is very funny to me. <laughs> I'm better! <laughs> okay, 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 it's fine. God, what were any of my stats before? God damn, that's, that's ridiculous. Um, God, I guess I'll be back with you in a little bit. <laughs> That's what it was, wasn't it? It wasn't one that gives me a plus one to all attributes. It was one that lets me reset all my attributes and start from the beginning. That was it, wasn't it? I'll check that in editing, but I'm pretty sure I made that mistake. Okay, like, whatever. Like, that was, that was funny enough that I'm actually not, I'm not even mad. I mean, that was about right, right? It's a lot of willpower. Bring that down and bring that up. 
Wish I could remember is all. Oh, hell with that. I'll tell you what I'll do instead. I'll save the game. And I will just uh, load back to an earlier quick save and um, commit them to memory. Back in the mall. Here it is. Lore is compiled by generations of first wardens at Weishaupt. Detailed personal accounts of diplomacy, crisis, and war provide many layers of perspective on the past and wisdom that could be used to confront future problems. Only high ranking members of the Grey Wardens ever see its pages. Restriction humanoid. So this is me here, right? You know what? I'm pretty tempted to just go back from here. Uh, that, that was that was funny and all, <laughs> but uh, I think um, I think it's just a lot of work uh, from from my part really, and a waste of like a pick. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and <laughs> I'm just gonna go and put the uh, switch back in, and um, go get that chest and fight those golems again, and we'll move on with our lives. <laughs> Better for the experience. Back with the animal. Oh. <laughs> Something very funny about that. <laughs> Fighting goals is so brutal. Ow, fucking stop that. Alright, alright. Dick, we will get back here. You'll get no mercy from me. The massacre. No one's getting out alive. Advantage of distance. Watch in horror as I rip you apart! There you go. Death by butt. Had diggity. Oh, I lost Sif. It's okay, get more go back out. Frank gets to stay where he is for now. There we go, that's better. So let's go in and use the actual tomb that I meant to use. <laughs> uh, this is the memoirs of the First Great War, and that's what I did. Uh, what I actually want to do is use... It's this one, right? Yeah. That's better. I thought I just glitched out. More damage. Thank you very much. Thank God I did reset it as well. My base strength is 33. Man, I only put it to like 24 when I actually did like the manual leveling. I would have gotten more into other types of, um, like I would have gotten a lot more willpower and a lot more uh, cunning. <laughs> cunning. Oh man, that's a classic sketch. But you know, I'd rather do that by choice. Whoa. Now no, better than later. Men. They. They look like they were ripped apart. Ancestors, what happened here? God, that's properly gross. And was that there before? Oh, oh fucking oh, Bronto! Fucking oh, <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> My God. <laughs> let's uh, let's move on. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me because I was expecting. I was waiting for the well to appear there, that like new little featurette that comes when you flick that switch. But it was like, oh, it's bigger than it was last time. Got a fright. So here's um, here's Darian's journal. They use not stone or metal, but flesh. Flesh of the dying, the diseased, the castless. We found a putrefying construct of meat and bone. It looked awkward and headless. Oh hell. And the stench was unbearable. Oh my. You know it's uh yeah, I still can't get through the story. I can expect there's other layers down. What well, have they unlocked here? Um Yeah, there may not be Sorry, word for it. There may not be. It may not be public knowledge about how to create golems. Like you, but not you. You, buddy, are going to need to get the hell out of the way. There you go. So when I chastise, saying that Carden's work should never be brought back, like I think I had it in my head that Jerry knew what needed to be done, but he may not. I'm just going back to check on the. To check if that wee chest and thing there. 
is there in the real world because I don't think I saw that last time. So I think it's maybe like a point of this little uh, adventure to be thorough. So that's what I'm. That's exactly what I'm doing now. And we can see, like, yeah, there's a pillar bones here, so it's always marked if something is different. And up here is a tattered note. I'll get on it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Very little remains of Caradon's writings. The memories say the Paragon strayed much of his own research. What madness would drive him to do such a thing? King Valtor preserved what he could. Thanks to him, we have something to work from. Nareda, my mage colleague, believes that Lyrium is the key. Not the only key. You know, I think I'm going to be alright in terms of supplies. That Bronto's still trying to come up here. And... Nope. You can't force a Bronto to move. You can't force a Golem to move either. Let's just get the Golem to move. <laughs> of its own accord. There we go. You know, I'm half tempted to leave with the bulkiest member. I think it might just be simpler for moving around. Plus, actually, they're slightly faster than I am. That's almost humiliating. I am slower than a Bronto. These things are gorgeous, though. In a kind of, like, dirty rhino kind of way. Here, flip the switch. Hey everybody. Quick saving after all that faff. We'll rock the mount way for now. Let's see what it gets us. So it looks like there's something there, but we know there isn't, unless there's something in yet another plane. Ah, I'm gonna need to be Nathan. I can't it doesn't feel right leading with not a human. Or with anybody except Nathan, for that matter. Not here. I'm not here. <laughs> Rogan, I'm here. You're all right. Jarek? No, no, Jarek. Can't stay. Get out. Go. What? The light was all around. Went through me. Everyone disappeared. I... No, have to hide, Jarek. Have to hide. Hmm... He's delirious. But you are safe now, even with the way out. His brain's addled. It's this place. Or maybe the extended exposure to pure lyrium. Brogan, try to make sense. What are you talking about? Died. All dead. Torn apart. Harvested. Stop it. Destroy everything. Please find Darien. I know Darien Olmec. He's a scholar who led the expedition. Brogan, listen. Is Darien Olmec still alive? Yes. No. No, no, no. I don't want to be taken. Get it away. Stop the light. Don't touch it. Rest easy, brother. You did well. Hmm. I have seen pages of his journal. He probably has some understanding of this place. We need to find him. I know my brother. He's a survivor. He might be a little... confused. But his sword arm is as steady as ever. Let's go. Brogan too. Cool. Yep, he's definitely berserk. <laughs> okay, cool. Warrior then, I'm guessing. Oh my, look at that meal, huh? Alright, you know the character to sort out back with you in a little bit. So why are you, Reaver? I don't think I've seen one of these guys before. The Reaver revels in death, absorbing the lingering energy of all nearby corpses, each of which partially restores the Reaver's own health. Uh, unsettling countenance into a weapon, making a target cower in fear unless it passes a mental resistance check. Frightening appearance also increases the effectiveness of taunt and threat. Radiating to an aura of, of psychic pain, takes constant spirit damage. While in this mode is active, as do all enemies nearby. Oh, interesting. I've never found ones like that useful, though. More damage and you harm yourself, that always just gets like really out of control really quickly. Blood Frenzy, driven by pain, the Reaver gains large bonuses to damage whenever health decreases because his mode also incurs a penalty to health generation. The Reaver flirts with death the longer the Frenzy persists. You're not wrong. Alright. Looking at his um, potential specializations are interesting. I think I'm going to go with Templar. I don't think I have any abilities to give him, but he can level up in Templar when the time comes, because it makes sense that way he is being a Lyrium adult, and therefore will have access to abilities similar to that. It certainly makes more sense than him being champion, because I like this game recognized by the way that having poison making is an excellent skill for a warrior. 
because he is, um... Yeah, like, there's no way that him in his current state is going to be inspiring loyalty in that way. Still working through this back in a bit. There we go. Oh, we have a party of, like, six people now. This is insane. Brother, do you know what's happening? Is this the realm the humans call the Fade? No. No, not the Fade. Here, but different. 